Fellas, I have not shared this one with you. This is a special vehicle to me. Has been one of my favorite daily drivers. Um, if you follow my diesel channel, I'm a lot more active there. and <laughs> I've shared it once on the diesel channel, but it's just one of those things, you know. It's just, I keep to myself. This one's a personal one. Um, it was bought for me, not for the company, not for any other reason, but for me. So, yeah, just, I've owned it for six months now. Uh, if you're following my diesel channel, I'm dailying a Ford F-350 with an HO, so I have to kind of figure out my nuances with that thing before I decide for sure if I'm going to start ordering Fords or wait off for Ram to get their ducks straight. But that's a topic for another time, most likely on another channel. So as far as this vehicle goes, what I was trying to get at is I don't do much miles on her. She only has 4,100 miles. I parked it with right about 3,000 miles. And my wife saw this thing sitting around, I think on the first or second day. She's like, so what are you going to do with the TRX? I'm like, just have a set for time being, right? Until I figure out the fourth thing. She's like, I'm going to drive it. So I'm probably about 1,100 miles. We're put on by here. So I'm not going to show you anything new. Just, just want to share my experience. And maybe someone's on the fence as far as should you or should you not buy one of these. I'd love to jump to the conclusion, but I will go through the, through the steps and kind of argue with you why you should or shouldn't buy a vehicle like this my father of four kids got my wife um this is not the perfect family hauler due to the size or the limiting factor that i can't put four kids in here illegally right they fit just fine back here i might or might not have traveled that way but this is not the family hauler this is just a run around uh, pole happy mobile Despite my day, no matter how much trouble I'm having, but when I get in this TRX, I'm always smiling. Call me materialistic. I just like to think of myself as a gear nut. Um, just absolutely enjoy driving this thing. There's just something about this thing that I sincerely appreciate. You know, I appreciate the over ingenuity, which comes with the engine. The tra uh, transmission is just fine. Uh, Tranny. Well, see, the tranny doesn't get that much credit, but now that I think about it, tranny's always on par. It's always Johnny on the spot, so tranny's really good, but really what really stands out to me is the engine, the suspension. This thing is a beast. It's a fun, fun toy to drive. Absolutely love it. It's It seems a little bit different. Hey, Rachel. <laughs> she, uh, this vehicle just feels a little different. There's something about it when you drive it very... Uh, call it compact or well put together let's just leave it at that um i was going to show you the fuel mileage if if money's tight you're probably not looking on this or you're not looking at this vehicle oh shoot i can't show you yeah fuel mileage huh well that sucks i just don't want to fire it up in the building it's an enclosed building so mama's in the office wrapping up some paperwork so i figured i'd take the opportunity and a quick video or two about my vehicles. Um, well, just gonna have to fire it up for a second, shut her down. So, for the last thousand miles, oh, come on, 10 miles to the gallon, and then the other one is 10 miles to the gallon. So, for the life of this truck, I've averaged 10 miles to the gallon. You take it for what it is. Um, this thing needing premium, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it adds up. I think premium is five forty nine where I'm at right now, so five fifty a gallon adds up real quick. Um, when I initially purchased this vehicle, it stood out to me like a sore thumb. Like, is this thing ever get enough? Right, you're always pumping fuel in it, and I travel. It's not like I travel quite a bit. It's just putt putting around town quite a bit, so it goes through fuel. Um, with that being said, you know, that's still not a lot of miles, um, as far as the vehicle goes, right? There, it's a special vehicle. If you understand, uh, if you have a basic understanding as far as mechanics, the suspension and all that, uh, the ability that this vehicle has is so tremendous. It is so awesome. And it gives you this cozy feeling. I'm just sharing my experience. You take it for what it is. 
That's why I'm making this video. Maybe someone's on the fence, right? It gives you this cozy feeling. This uh, mini tank kind of feeling. You know, let's get some light up in here. Um, for those of you wondering what trim level this is, this is a decked out one. Um, the only thing, I mean, everything has been check marked on it because I did order this vehicle. Besides, I think the spare holder in the bed. I kind of wanted my bed. I was supposed to get it bed lined and tunnel covered by now. Been dragging my feet on that. Don't know why. Can't give you a good explanation. When I purchased this vehicle, I told my family, I might have this truck for a couple years and then get rid of it. Don't be surprised 10 years from now if I still have this vehicle because something telling me that I ain't going to make these anymore. This overkill and this well done. Um, when you're well done, <laughs> well put together. It's despite the COVID and all that stuff, uh, this was built 12 of 22. I absolutely love my analog gauges. I am so thankful that they didn't upsell me or should I say shift me into the 23. I don't care what that paperwork says. I love my gauges. Take it for what it is. Very much an old school kind of guy. Um, So the negatives about this thing, I've spoke about it. It's, it sticks out like a sore thumb. The fuel mileage. I can't think of anything else. It drives perfect. If you're if you know Spokane, Washington, it's as if they lost all their tax money and they got nothing more to do than just a jam packed crush rock in there. You know what I mean? On your potholes like it, it is a crap show out here. And when you drive this thing, you just don't care anymore. It just floats over everything. Unless it's a gaping hole that could eat up your tire. You pretty much got nothing to worry about. Um, you know, my out there hot rodding, you know, I am a CDL holder. No attorney is going to get me out of no pickle. Um, at least that's how Washington is with their CDO. So you got to consider that. You know, 700 horse at your tip of your, uh, you know, toes or whatever you want to call them. Oh, shoot, it's not. There you go, 700 two horse. Um, it's easy to get in trouble. Like, this thing darts off the line and everything's great and dandy. Um, I wish I could tell you some more negatives, but... If I had to do top five negative things about this thing, I would fail on that video because I'd have to make up with some dumb crap. You know, this thing's fairly in inexpensive to maintain. I do not want to find out what the shocks are going to cost to uh, replace. But as far as oil changes, nothing expensive, right? Nothing spendy about it. As far as... Benny, what happened? Mama went to the bathroom. My papa will wrap up this video on that. Dave, you got him? What? You got Benny? Oh, come on. You got to get your brother. So everything's functional about it. Guys, come on. One minute. Just hang tight. So the, this vent here is a functional vent. Someone said they're a dummy vent. I don't know what they're smoking or saying. You can see from here. You can see the light. Okay, maybe you can see it. Let me try this the other way since my camera. You see that light? Yeah, it, there ain't no flashlights in there. It's it's legitimate, you know, vent. Now the only thing dummy about it is this. And I'm I'm headed somewhere with this. You know, this is this is dummy. This vehicle is so practical and so well thought through. You're just gonna, you, you know, I've heard it once. Oh, they just throw some fancy parts on it and call it T-Rex. No, look it up. Frame's different. Obviously, the bed's different. The fenders are different. The only thing that's the same from the 1500 is the cap. That's it. <laughs> Everything else is different, and I absolutely love it. I'm not going to show you anything new. I'm not going to show you anything new with the suspension, but this is a well overkill. Well, well, my definition of well engineered, you know, engineered it has a lot of meat on it. Meaning, there's it's definitely an overkill frame and suspension. I love the fact that they put a shock on the rear axle. I'm going to have a hard time showing you, but there's the shock that goes from the axle forward. So call it axle wrap is what a lot of people are known to, but it just handles those jumps so well. 355 millimeter shocks, and I mean that looks great, you know, wonderful. But you got a big old reservoir in the back, so you can come up with aftermarket all you want. And I, and I know there's good systems out there, but it's gonna cost you a darn dime, like a pretty dime, to get this set up in aftermarket. I know it sounds crazy, but a hundred thousand or a hundred. Anyways, 100000 some change for a truck like this is a bargain. Watch what's going to happen with the value. 
Watch what's gonna happen with uh, everything. They're gonna start charging a lot more for less. And that's what it's looking like. I hope I'm wrong. But the way it's looking, they keep cutting corners. I'm surprised to even have a truck of this caliber and this level of decent fit and finish. Because if you follow my diesel channel, you'll see my limited mega cab. I mean, the, the, the gapping and everything, like the door panels are just so ridiculous. I mean, they're retarded. I got me my limited tailgate sticking out that far and it kind of stood out to me i'm like what's the deal with it where are these things made it's as if they you know constructed this thing in a different world well guess what i should probably share my vent but eh, who cares this thing's made in the u.s this ain't a mexican truck it was not built in mexico if your truck is built in mexico it's a mexican truck if your truck's built in canada it's a canadian truck and the u.s is u.s and japanese japanese call it what it is why do I have certain Mercedes and then on an average sense, I'll tell you Mercedes is junk because most of the Mercedes we get in the United States are built either in Mexico. Where's the other one? God, I spent my, skipped my mind. I'm, I'm not against Mexico, but their plants in Mexico just don't have the, the quality standards. You know, like the Shelby. I should get you all updated on my toys. Like the Shelby, you know, it's American made. It's a piece of junk as far as paint goes. It, it's, they failed so horribly, but that's not the point of this vehicle. Oh man, I should do a video about it, but let me finish my point. I bought this thing brand new. That, that's not even painted. Like, I mean, there's a lot of things about this thing not right. Uh, anyways, for the money and the time that we're living in, this is a fabulous truck to have. I can't think of a single legitimate reason why you should not buy a T-Rex if you're thinking about it. A truck of this caliber, it, it costs a pretty penny. Money, if money's an issue, you'd never buy it. And so, dismiss the fuel mileage. Just what you gotta pay to play. Anyways, fellas, as always, may the Lord bless you. May you all have a mighty fine day. And yeah, let me know if you guys wanna know more about this T-Rex. This T-Rex is nothing but a flex. There's no useful, well, it's useful to me. On my down days, I could always share, uh, not share, I could always kind of vent, you know, go on the back roads, vent, or there's a couple off-road areas, well, wide, wide, you know, off-road areas where I could just go climb stuff and have them. So it's a necessity for a guy like me, but grand scheme of things, this isn't a pickup. You can't haul, haul stuff with it, but it gets you by. I've hauled a dump trailer, should have never done it. Tires were stinking real bad. But power is never an issue. Tranny would never skip the beat. So I wouldn't say you should use it, but if you ever need to use tow something, I mean, shoot, that trailer and the load, I think I had 8,000 pounds on her at least. It didn't skip, skip a bit. The only thing that was kind of concerning were the tires because they smelt pretty bad. And I kept it under 45. Anyways, fellas, I can't say enough good things about this thing. I, I truly enjoy this truck it's the ultimate daily for me i run around town do my things when i need a hollow goose neck that's the only thing i'm missing here but that's not the thing I'm for. anyways as always may the lord bless you may y'all mighty fine day and if you're curious about my diesel channel it's called pd diesel power um so yeah ciao bye